What is up guys, Andy Forest Team Runner here and welcome back to another race vlog of 2021 and today is the day of the Gloucester 10k. Right, very quick warm up with Lee, 15 minutes, just out running the streets of Gloucester. I have no idea where we're going, but just getting ready to rock and roll. And once we've done this, we'll be towing the starting line. So wish us luck, fingers crossed we'll have a good one. Hamstring's a little bit knacky, I'm saying it now, getting the excuses in. And uh, yeah, see you on the other side. Okay, Gloucester 10K done and dusted. We have the Costa coffee, which is the most important thing. Fantastic medal. Let me just say a massive thank you, as always, once again to the organizers of the event. It's such a fun course. I do enjoy the course. It's definitely not a PV course, but it is such good fun. Great to see lots of parts of Gloucester that I don't normally see. As for the race itself, I'm gonna be brutally honest and say I'm extremely disappointed. Um, 35, 31, I think it came up on my watch, so I'll wait for the official time. But yeah, uh, uh, nearly a minute off my PB. Now this isn't a PB course, I must stress that, but in previous years I've been around 10 to 20 seconds off a PB when I've run this course. So like last year, no, the year before when it wasn't COVID, I ran 36.20 and my PB that year was 36.01. So it was close, but it wasn't that far away. This year I'm a minute off and kind of the frustrating thing for me coming off the back of today was actually my legs felt really good. I worked really hard throughout the week to make them feel better. Lots of foam rolling, stretching. And this morning they felt quite peppy, quite good. It was really hot, It what don't get me wrong, it was raining hard, uh, or it was raining hard just then. It wasn't through the race, but during the warm up, I was dripping. So it was humid, it was hot, but still, it's just not good enough. I've not raced this bad in a long time. And I don't know how many more times I can say to you guys or to myself that these are rust buster races. At what point is it gonna become a not rust buster race? I'm actually slower this year than I was last year now, and it's becoming 
rather frustrating. I can't quite put my finger on what's going on. Either way, let me run th run you through the race. I've got to be brutally honest, and I will be brutally honest. It's it's just how I'm feeling right now, and I'd rather capture these kind of raw emotions as to how it is. Um, you know, I'm going to have great races. I'm going to have not some not so great races. So <coughs> we go out of the blocks. You start in the parks. So you run you run a little bit on grass and you get out onto the road. And at the point I was out on the road after a few hundred meters, I was in about eighth or ninth place. And by the end, I'd overtaken three people. Uh, I didn't get overtaken once. So I was very, very happy um, in terms of I ran a smart race, albeit my first mile was way too fast, sadly, 5.31, I think. But after that, I settled into a groove and I was running sort of low to mid 540s. The third mile, sadly, was a 558. So that was climbing up through the twists and turns and climbing up and out uh, onto the back straight before we come back down the canal path, to which I then ran some low four, 540s. But I knew when I said to Lee and a few others there that I met, I said, look, if you're going to run this course, the first two miles, you need to be quite sensible and keep it calm because they're very, very twisty turny. And then once you get out into the docks and out the back, you can then start to put the hammer down. And that's kind of what I did. I just tried to keep things in control. Yes, my first mile was fast, but I always felt kind of quite in control. And I came out of the second mile feeling quite good and in control and breathing well. And albeit I was sweating buckets, I was feeling quite controlled and quite strong. The problem is at this stage is my controlled and strong is 540s so not 530s where it needs to be and should be with this level of training so for me I'm kind of thinking to myself, okay, well, do you know what? The time is what the time is going to be. We know it's not a PB course. Just make sure you don't blow up at the end and feel good and feel strong throughout, which is what I aimed to do and what I executed. So I overtook a couple of people up the back straight, which was great. I felt really confident. That boosted my confidence. Turned around, hit the canal path at three and a half miles and felt really strong. Uh, and I ran strong right to the end and I felt really good. Um, coming back down the canal path, there's lots of twists and turns down there, tight, some bits some wooden bridges that were a bit slick and slippery in the wet but overall I was feeling good and I was feeling I was running well um, but as I said the problem is is that running well is, is 10 seconds a mile off easy 15 seconds a mile off where it should be so I ran a smart race in terms of I felt good throughout the race my pace is just nowhere near where it needs to be and that's the frust that's what's getting me a little bit frustrated there's the excuses of humidity heat and summer but i'm wiping those out now this is not good enough uh lee ran came second ran 33 31 got a pb by 20 odd seconds uh he ran brilliantly uh lots of other people ran really well so why what's yeah what's going on i just don't understand at the moment so i'm going to take this afternoon to kind of reflect and then pick myself up and go again next week overall though it uh, times aside it was fantastic to be able to race again put a bib on and be in a pen of like 50 other people that was great just to have a mass start again that felt really good so i'm going to be grateful for small mercies be grateful that we've raced and super grateful for the organizers for putting it on they went above and beyond to make this event happen so that is the gloucester 10k i hope you enjoyed the race vlog today it was great fun to make frustrating finish i'm always honest with you i always will be sometimes we have great races other times we come away frustrated it is what it is we keep the ball rolling we keep moving forwards if you enjoyed today's video guys make sure you give it a like share it with your friends subscribe to the channel for weekly run content and as always i'll see you in the next one until then